The reception is deserted. And it seems kind of spooky in here. Hello? Is anybody there? Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. Huh? D did you hear that? Where did it come from? The reception, it seems. How about you go check it out and Paimon will bring up the rear. Welcome to Boo Boo Pharmacy. I am Chi Chi. Once upon a time, Chi Chi died. Then, Chi Chi was saved by the Adepti. Now, Chi Chi is a zombie. Something like this would be unimaginable in Mondstadt. Uh, hello, little girl. Do you sell everlasting incense here? Excuse me, sir. Did you bring your prescription? I... Surely no prescription is needed to purchase everlasting incense. It's not a controlled substance. Chi-Chi can get your medicine. But only if you show Chi-Chi your prescription. These are Chi-Chi's orders from Chi-Chi. Zombies are limited to acting within the confines of their orders. And somehow in this case, the zombie issues her own orders to herself. My dear Chi-Chi, we didn't bring a prescription, I'm afraid. But we do hope that you can still help us find some everlasting incense. Okay, then. How did you manage that? But Chi-Chi helps you. You help Chi-Chi. Only fair. Customers need to do favors for customer service staff. Never mind. Just think of it as a peer-to-peer -peer transaction. That way, everybody wins. Sometimes in Liyue, the art of the deal is simply about victory via mental gymnastics. Go to Mount Tianhong, find the Guizhong Ballista, and hunt a cocoa goat. Please and thank you. Guizhong Ballista. I have heard of this device before. Apparently not quite. This is the first I have ever heard of the Coco Goat. The Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta beast. Did you want to add anything else, or...? No. Just that the Coco Goat is a legendary animal. An Adepta beast. What it looks like don't know where to find it don't know either where it came from also don't know very well then let's start by investigating near the Guizhong Ballista perhaps we will find some clues <sighs> what the heck is a coca goat forgive us we were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepta Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Aw, poor Chi Chi. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So. Tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adepta Beast could make such tasty milk. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Huh? 
I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhongli. You didn't know. As the Leroy proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. No. Im impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Paimon thought Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi-Chi. to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent! <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, communal chaos causing with Chi-Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Phew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. <laughs>